Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com. Bringing you a review of European markets this morning on Friday, the 1st of April 2016, April Fool's Day. And we certainly seem to have got fooled this morning if you were long uh, equities. Okay, let's try and uh, decipher exactly uh, what's happening here this morning and why we're seeing this uh, weakness in European markets. Okay, right, be sure to uh, visit www.tradesignal.com and download the new app by CFDs.com where my analysis is posted and uh, my uh, information with regards to my trades etc will certainly be on there going into the future you can download it from google play and the app store as well okay in terms of uh, global markets let's try and uh, uh, put the pieces uh, jigsaw pieces together okay so uh, risk off in the asian session except the shanghai uh, we had stronger chinese data out overnight overall okay cakes in pmi non pmi all came out stronger Hang Seng down 1.3%, the Nikkei down a whopping 3.5%. So you had stronger Chinese data versus weaker Tanken data. Also, you had the S&P, which is the Australian index, certainly down as well. So risk aversion trade kicked in there too. Okay, so now let's try and, like I said, fit these jigsaw pieces together. Okay, so Asia markets down overall net net, given the fact that the Shanghai was more or less positive, well, almost finished positive. On stronger Chinese data so you had the tank and survey uh, certainly hurting the markets now have with regards to the tank and survey we are seeing comments now are, are from mr. BOJ Sakurai no need for hasty decisions on monetary policy need to see impact negative rates blah 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 seen rise in downside risk to Japan economy compared to six months ago blah 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 uh, he, BOJ has achieved 60 to 70 percent of its uh, of its goal uh, in terms of the tank and survey Again, trying to play down that uh, negative data. Obviously, it opens the door for more QE. Okay, that's basically the summation, really. It's about QE, 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 mud market. And that's basically what it does. It opens the door for additional QE. Okay, not only that, we've had European data out this morning, which overall has been net-net positive. Okay, we've had uh, Italian data come out stronger than expected, uh, along with the cakes and, and the Chinese data stronger than expected. We've had uh, market PMI in, in France was probably the only exception. Uh, real, retail sales out of uh, Swiss CHF, certainly an exception, although their PMI certainly came out stronger. Uh, German PMI came out 50.7, came out came in stronger. Uh, European PMI is stronger, although the FTSE was certainly lagging to a large a large extent, okay. And so overall net net positive, okay. And like I said, Chinese data really drives the market and that certainly is a focus. Uh, of uh, of everyone's attention for now okay so that's basically where we stand so if that's the case with regards to the economic data what's the situation with regards to the uh, technical setup so let's have a look okay folks bear in mind you have chinese stronger chinese data versus vika tanken and then you have the net net european markets obviously uh, stronger so let's have a look here okay Okie dokie, right, let's bring up the uh, the actual uh, FTSE, or should we say the Eurostox as always. Okay, so the Eurostox did actually close a gap at 2.970, has pushed lower, went into that resistance, or previous resistance equal support at 2.950, has subsequently bounced since then, okay. Uh, the 10 minute chart, uh, we can see that we are seeing this bounce at present, uh, whether this bounce has legs, I mean, we are looking to potentially test 2.985 initially. And then obviously you've got gap fill resistance just above at 3004. So that's going to be a zone. And obviously you've got 3040 as well. So they're the two zones that you're looking to potentially check in terms of uh, the uh, actual euro stocks itself. Daily chart at the moment, you are below that neckline. So bear that in mind. But having said that, you have previous resistance uh, equal support. And given the QE nature of these markets, you are going to see uh, support for the euro stocks. Okay, so... For now, I'm just going to delete all that. Okay, again, like I said, gap fill support. We are putting in a bottoming tail as we speak. So that certainly is positive from that perspective. Okay, looking at the German DAX now. Okay, German DAX, as you can see here, we've gap lower, sold off quite substantially. We are now attempting to regain some, uh, regain our footing. Okay, and you are, you obviously, you've pierced the 200 MA. You have held horizontal support. Obviously, if this support were to go at 9810, the next support is that. 9750 
We've hit a low of 9780, okay? So stronger German data should uh, stabilize this market. Uh, daily chart certainly is indicating support, although if that cracks, then you are looking at 9500. Given the fact that the euro is now at 1.14, if that resistance were to hold, then that should be generally perceived as positive, uh, net net positive, and uh, you should see the markets move a higher accordingly, okay? Right, the French CAC, let's see exactly where the French CAC is positioned. French CAC certainly does look weak out of the uh, all the indices. So again, that is a cause of concern. 10-minute uh, chart, you had gap fill support at 4.3.30, uh, certainly has failed to hold that. You have obviously pulled push lower, which is, a, again, like I said, a cause for concern. You do have gap fill support above, uh, or gap fill resistance above, and that unfill gap certainly remains the... Uh, key target from my perspective 60 minute chart the french cac you are holding horizontal support so again that that support is crucial and will be uh, instrumental and like i said you do have two unfilled gaps above that certainly need to close on the back of stronger obviously french data again overall the da daily chart so it does remain weak so keep keep an eye on that okay the FTSE 100 daily chart again we're testing that bullish engulfing candle uh, we've retested the breakout line and that certainly has held for thus far from my perspective, stronger Chinese data should support the FTSE and uh, keep the FTSE 100 higher, obviously along with commodities. The 60-minute chart, we held that key support at the uh, well, 6100. 6100 was important because it actually indicated gap fill support. So gap fill, the gap was obviously closed, as you can see here, gap fill at 6100. And we are looking to bounce. Any bounce will be uh, seen into the 6150 zone from my perspective. But for now, like I said, you just need to uh, tread caution. Okay, so uh, if you do get a bounce in the FTSE, then you are looking at 6150 as holding in terms of resistance. So that's the zone that we watch. Okay, let's look at the uh, commodities now. Uh, let's bring up the commodities. So if you go to crude oil, you can see that we are holding the key support level. So even with the uh, sell-off in the uh, Nikkei, you still are into support on oil and you are looking to potentially break out on the four hour chart. On this bearish engulfing okay so the uh, daily chart uh, the hns hasn't transpired okay you are looking at horizontal support we are holding support and obviously like i said stronger chinese data will certainly help that support gain ground okay right in terms of the euro usd let's bring up the euro because the euro is, is important with regards to european indices uh, you are looking at a potential top on the euro from my perspective daily chart is into resistance now and you are looking for a potential reversal Let's bring up the chart of the buns because the buns obviously will be important and instrumental. Now, the German buns certainly holding support, given the fact that you are seeing stronger uh, European data, obviously indicating uh, uh, an exit from potential deflation, etc. That certainly is a, is a cause uh, or a potential uh, threat, okay, in terms of sending the buns obviously lower and, and uh, the yields higher. That certainly is a threat. But for now, the buns certainly are catching a bid, okay, certainly... Uh, looking at potential support here and certainly looking to potentially move higher if you move high in the buns then we all know that the euro obviously will start to fall so again it's about whether that double top were to hold given the qe in the background and that starts out that obviously will be uh, quite important in terms of the next move in this market stronger economic data uh, from my perspective you should see some money rotate into equities uh, potentially even out of buns again so there are not just one variable that affects the, the bond market there's a multiple array of variables and it's whether or not you want to be short the um, the actual uh, uh, bond, given the fact that uh, you are expecting QE per month. Okay, so again, that certainly is 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 key as well. Okay, so if the bond were to top out here, start to move lower, then you will see the euro USD uh, crack below or crack above the 1.14 level, and again, that's very really negative for the uh, the actual equity market, European equities in particular. Okay, so that's the summation there in terms of the uh, bond market. Uh, now, in terms of uh, the uh, S&P 500, you do have potential gap fill support on the S&P. Um, let me just bring this up for you. Okay. We have, oh, let's just quickly cross-reference with, with the uh, stock 600. That's quite important. Okay, so stock 600, 60-minute chart. Obviously, you're into support. Previous resistance equals support. So you are looking for a bounce, and that's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. And the... Let's just quickly bring up the oil and gas sector, oil and gas, 60-minute uh, chart. Again, you are back into that support zone on the oil and gas sector, and therefore that supports the uh, 
how to support the market from that perspective. Uh, the banking sector certainly has pushed higher. Retail sector, FTSE retail, certainly putting in a potential uh, bottoming tail there as well. Uh, certainly indicating some weakness, but <clears throat> again, stronger Chinese, uh, stronger Chinese data, stronger EU data. Uh, UK data wasn't exactly that weak either. We'll certainly uh, uh, build a base and hold support in this market. So, okay, okay, folks. I think I'll say a wrap. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Uh, you can certainly earn up to a two and a half thousand pound bonus without with the twenty five percent cash bonus offer. Terms and conditions apply. And uh, wish you the best of luck for the remainder of the uh, trading session. Goodbye now.